outer orange. I'm so hyped on this deck, bro. It's so fun. Yeah, I think I think you'll wait. Are you gonna Are you gonna stick to Duke? In what in V? Yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna play both versions. I'm probably gonna play Gurgit and Duke. Uh, interesting, because I think I feel like Duke is like on a lower level than um. Uh, Maybe I mean, he is on the lower level, but I like Duke so much that I just want to play it. That, that's fair, I mean, that's fair. I'm probably switch it up in the things, because like, I can't play go I can't play go it all the time. Actually, I can't play go it all the time, but you know. It gets tiresome too. Yeah, no, no, no it doesn't. <laughs> really? I would have, you've been playing Gurgit for how many years now? Yes. <laughs> it's been a long time. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm the guy that, don't worry, I'm the guy that played the, that played Agro Vein during the year of trades. I don't get bored of decks when I like them. Oh, that's fair. But yeah, no, uh, I mean, yeah, I've been playing Gurgit for such a long time. I mean, ever since release, basically, so like, December 2020, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a second. Yeah, then track almost two years. Crazy. It's been a while, oh my god. But yeah, well, I'm probably gonna switch between both. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, thank you. I, haven't, I don't think I've ever seen you on Duke before. Um, that is... Yeah, I don't think so, because basically, when the deck came out, I played a lot of it, because I really liked it. Mm -hmm. um, but then it's pretty, it was pretty dull, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. It, it's so kind like of the same I, thing. after like three months, I think I got burnt out and I stopped playing. I stopped playing it basically because mm -hmm. and then I was on the anti Duke train where I was like, yeah, Duke is dull and shit and everything. And now I've been, I mean, because uh, also it was like of another version and now i've been playing this version lately I, when, when i basically came back to v which was like when did i came back to v actually um i think it was actually when possible got when possible got it to one i think i came back to v and i built this version of the deck with the sacramores the drain and uh -huh, uh -huh. this and and Pelino that i didn't see this game but which is, is that the great two garbage trick girl Ah, okay. which one? Uh, the one oh, you no. showed a second ago. Ah, uh, oh, no, so I, I thought I saw this. I saw no, the card. Uh, no, it's the grade one booster. Yeah. Which is no. somewhere. It's... Yeah, yeah, the you what you played her. Yeah. yeah, this one is really cool. And there's also the boy, the Pelino. Mm -hmm. Which is really fun. Uh, Palmer's so good in this deck. It's so fun. It's what lost me in, um, I lost my, uh, my top cut game. Of it. Not in um, not yeah. in BSF, but Crow did a Crow's thing. Yeah, yeah. That he, I forgot about that card. I let one of the rear guards so hit. And he restood it. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, that card's hilarious. Because it is, yeah. And I came back to Z where I built this version with Sagramo. and then it was like, uh, I stopped. I wanted to change back because some people. I saw some people playing the the Chain Brother, so like Kaidin and all. Oh and yeah, the, it and the, the power yeah. up guys. And it's and just really not what I like. I just don't like them in this deck. That's fair. It just I, feels I think numbers like are nice. Plenty, but I see something like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking about like I mean, this this calls that is just the best combo. Mm -hmm. It's it's been my favorite combo since the beginning of D. So good. It is. It is a really good combination. I agree. I, that, yeah, I, it's, it's just. just it's just so such. Good. It's so aggressive. Just the filter to draw and all. Mm -hmm. So good. That I agree with. That's what got me into Gurgit yeah. as well for that very reason. Just all the comboing that you could do now. Yeah, yeah. Just the comboing is so cool. But yeah, this deck is pretty cool. I agree. I agree. I I, I played Duke for a little bit. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also I, I think I've stopped it mostly because like at one time like uh, I I got really unlucky with my draft checks and it was like always like I remember I had five uh, like maybe seven cards with no triggers. Yeah, yeah. So it's like fuck this time out and then I came back and now it's it's working nicely as we can see. Yup, yup, you hit two crits. <laughs> <laughs> yep, just just eight crits. Yup. I mean it already has a crit on it too, it just gets so lethal so fast. Yeah. 
I mean, with Duke now, it's 10k and two and a crit. Yep, yep, exactly. I mean, yeah, and I mean, the deck doesn't change that much. It's just like the, the others don't change that much. You can play different versions. You can play like a version with Holy Shine, which is which really pops up, but it's also so easy to play around. Mm -hmm. So I'm not that big of a fan. And I, you can just play a normal version with like uh, just add some dupe and change up ratios, and you're good. Which is what I've been running, and it's, and it's really cool. That makes sense. I'm with you. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Holy Shrine yet. I probably will test around with it a little bit. Oh, we're well, on like this goals. topic. I want to use your platform, Mrs. Other Orange, to say that Holy Shine is the biggest bait card I've ever seen in all of this past year of Vanga. <laughs> it is such a bait. Like, people are like, this card will break the format, it's so good, go get it better without Holy Shine. I believe it. I'm dead as serious about that. Well, I'm dead as serious. I trust you, you test you test goals like all the time. I, I trust your judgment. Yeah, I mean, it's just like the fact that you have to build your deck around it. Um, once you wrote it, if you write it, of course, it's a break. Mm -hmm. um, if you write it, it makes your deck a turn for deck. You die too early rush. You eat like shit. You your attack eat like nothing on your only shine turn. Mm -hmm. You have no multi attack. Uh, yeah. And also, of course, draw possible. Oh wow! Well, guess I have lots of bricks now. Woo! Mm -hmm. Yep. So like, um, the only deck I actually play it is, well, pure Liberators, because you know, Liberator. And then um, in Agrovein, uh, it's, it's too slow. In Duke, it just, it's too much space. Mm -hmm. And in yeah, Gurgit, it also, it's too much space. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And I mean, Gurgit is fine on its own, like, as we can see. Yep. Oh yeah, Gurgit. <laughs> Gurgit. <laughs> yeah. Until they until they do something to Gurgit, that, that deck's gonna be this guy's gonna be around yeah. for a while. People even even mean, without a person will the deck's fine. Yeah, yeah, you don't know what personal deck I mean it's obviously weaker, but like you know, you love to ways to play around it. Oh yeah. And yeah. I mean yeah, people are, are crying about the new prison support when it's literally just one card you play as a one of that just says find something from deck. Oh yeah, no, trust me, it's I don't I don't get it either. I don't get the hype. Yeah, it's, it's not that And then, crazy. I mean, Jogrit, um, no, Luard will get stronger, but like, it's not nothing unmanageable. Mm -hmm. Like, Ildona is not like the card that will break the deck. It's not Nemain and PBD, you know? Oh, yeah, no, 100%. I do think, I, I, think, I think it makes the deck a little bit more consistent in terms of like what the, the cards yeah, are. Yeah, it does. In your hand, I mean, basically, but... it's, it's, yeah, what it, the only thing it does is just like put, it, put Luard back with. Prism and Gurgit, that's the only thing it does, basically. Yeah. Like, it's nothing that crazy. Yeah, I haven't tested too much about it, but the concept to me, like, just a lot of great threes and ones in the deck, and... Yeah. I don't know, it's hard to see where exactly, like, how strong or weak it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. All right, I'll, I'll let you go. Um, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do now, but thank you for coming out. Sorry, those games were like super fast too. I just got like yeah, it was so demolished. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's been a long day. I just I just wanted to play some Vanguard. I'm glad you came out to play. Thank you. Yeah, well, I, I mean I'm very happy because like I was so burnt out with D locals earlier, and I, it was just, it was this was this was really fun. Yeah, I appreciate. I've actually been pretty burnt out too. I went to locals on Monday, and after Monday, I was like, ah, man, maybe I need a break from Vanguard. But playing yeah, playing, I mean, with, with, playing with the homies always makes Vanguard worse. Yeah, I mean, I need this break for from standout first of all. Yeah, same here. I played a lot. I just of need a really big one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I've been talking with one of my friends at local, and basically like, um. If I want to perform well, I think in like beer and all, I just need to stop playing stand on. Really? Yeah. I'm, I Is it mentally just want... draining you? It's just mentally draining. Like mm -hmm. playing well and just like triggers making the game. Yeah, yeah, that like, you know, yeah, you're not just, wrong. <laughs> yeah, like it just gets me in such a toxic mental state. It's insane. Yeah, it depends. Like sometimes I feel like D is fun, and then I agree with you. Other times, like you just get slammed yeah, I mean, in the face with triggers. And... Like, of course, it's, it it's still fun. Like when you take nothing seriously, it's yeah. just like games with your army between being like, like just the last game at locals. We had a fun game with one of my friends. Oh, I was on barrel. It was on chaos, and then we it was just like 
I the uh, I hit the OT on my barrel attack. He takes three damage. I put the uh, so yeah, the card that was twenty five, one that was forty five. And I said, oh, I put the OT on the twenty five power, mm. and it checks three defensive, draw defensive, OT, and then not my attack. Oh so that was my funny. god, that was a funny one. Jeez. I remember um, I was playing Flagberg and I was facing Lorone. And yeah. I, I was pushing, pushing, pushing. She took it all, she took it all, she took it all. Six damage heals on me. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Passes turn, yeah. it's her turn, she does her thing. Um, then yeah. it's my turn again, and she's still at five damage. So I, I get, I'm swinging, I'm swinging, so she takes it. She hits OT, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Here we go again, her six damage is OT. And I'm like, all right, I'm dead. I swing with my Vanguard, she goes no she she goes no guard, you know, she's on she's on OT. And I and I go crit OT. <laughs> Just break right back at her. That was pretty rough. After she six damage healed twice. It was insane. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, just it's just like this little moment that makes the game fun, I guess. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, the thing with standard is like, the thing I enjoy about standard. The only thing I enjoy about it is like basic game mechanic. If yeah. you see what I mean. Like basically, the only thing I enjoy about standard is it's Vanguard. Yep. Like, there's nothing crazy about the format that I really enjoy. That's specific to the format. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I also think, I personally, I also talk about this this with some this morning. I think the deck building behind it is like super fun, and I do like that. Uh, knowing matchups is like the, is very very important. Yeah, I think that very, makes very it fun because like you I can't just like yeah. slam dunk every game, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, I do. I do agree with that. Um, I do think also one thing that it's just very linear due to right deck mainly. Yeah, yeah. Right deck makes the deck really the the games really linear. I agree, I agree. If you have like the same, that's why I like switching decks personally, because I do get tired of yeah, the same deck. Even I decks agree, I love, yeah. I'm gonna be like, oh man, here I go doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Yeah, I mean, once again, like, uh, I've recently decided to sell Bastion and Norman Barrow Magnus, which is really fun. But like, I'm already starting to be like, man, I kind of want to sell this deck and build something else. Yep, yep. I feel like that's how a lot of the decks feel. Like, that's why yeah, I, I have like I mean, 20 D decks because of this. I just get so bored of them really quickly. Yeah, like many, my thing is like, I want to invest in D because like, I love the design and all, like, Hughberg and the new Braingate guy are so yep. cool design. But I'm like, yeah, but when I buy them, I'm going to play them for two weeks and then want to sell them because I'm bored of them. Mm -hmm. Like, it just doesn't feel worth to invest in standard currently yeah i mean that's fine you know do what makes you happy so yeah yeah i yeah, think so that's the best thing huh Sorry for being a downer. <laughs> oh no, don't, you don't. It's perfectly. It's okay. You're not being. You're you're talking. You're, you're talking about your time and experience with the game and stuff like that. That's perfectly fine. Um, you know, for the longest time, like there was a there was a moment. I think it was after set two, or maybe even during set three, where I was just not having fun with D at all. It wasn't until I bumped yeah, into yeah, Blackbird came and set out. Yeah, yeah. Set two and set two Yeah, exactly. And I was a downer set too. I was like, oh yeah. gosh, I'm so I tired. I mean, set of this. two was especially rough because when nothing we really knew. <laughs> yeah, I mean, set two was like nothing new introduced, mostly yeah. no, nothing new introduced, just like support for decks, and it was minimal support. Yeah, exactly, and it was it all was just like, kind of you, boring. Yeah, it was basically set set one electric boogaloo, and then it, it lasted five fucking months. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I, I'm looking at so we had, uh, And what set three which was introduced, and it wasn't anything much apart from Gravidia that, that was good. Yep. Yeah, and it was broke. basically just it. Yeah, because Bogle wasn't then. wasn't as good at in, in this yeah. time. So it was like, it's how yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, and, and then it came out. So it was like, eh, it's still boring. So, mm. And it was also when it was also when Bastion was at its worst. So I personally wasn't enjoying anything. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Yeah, it was just a rough until yeah. the Great Force came out. I mean, I remember this time of me being like playing only Premium and V basically. Yeah, I mean, uh, dude, I'm with you. I was pretty much doing the same thing, so it's understandable. I think the nice part about having three formats, though, is the fact that you can kind of alternate between the two. You don't have to keep. Yeah. Uh, you don't. Have to, you don't have to keep like you know being feel like, feel like you're stuck in one format, and that's one thing I like yeah, about yeah, that. I do like, agree. if you're yeah. like you're tired of premium, you can play V and D. If you're tired of V, you can play D and premium. If you're tired of D, you can play V and premium. Like you kind of always have something to piggyback off. Yeah, of. you have something to rotate, which is fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And also, then came set um four, which was so hyped before that when it came when it was released in japan and everything and during the anime it was like so hype everything was new everything got good support and everything was great and then when it came we were just like 
people like so in it that it became boring like really quick mm-hmm. and then came set five which was which brings lots of new things but nothing that's I mean, it brings not lots of new things, but nothing for the old decks, which doesn't help. Yeah. And another thing that doesn't help is that most of the new decks are not good, I want to say. Like yeah, the yeah, Tamayura, Tamayura is good. Tamayura is good. Um, PBO is pretty decent, pretty decent. I love PBO. Dude, that deck is PBO so is fun. Really cool. PBO is really fun. It's, it's, it's so really fun, fun. actually. Oh yeah. my god. I'm like addicted uh, to that deck different. right now. <laughs> yeah, and then there's what's um Fegra is okay. Uh, it's, okay. It has potentials. The only thing is that once again, grade ones and grade two are really bad. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, maybe in like the next couple of sets. I don't. Yeah. I don't see. I mean, it coming, the only, but hopefully yeah. we'll get better grade the, ones and two. The years. only problem with Fegra is that it's it's in Keter Sanctuary basically. Yeah, you know what? You're not wrong. I think if it was in any other, any other, if it was in like Braingate or something, if it was in like Braingate or something, it would have been just. If it was, yeah, and I mean, to be be fair, I said, to be fair, I said that, but most of the generics in the game are pretty bad, which is another thing of why standard is kind of. eh. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I could see it being in Braingate, like you kind of like Bobo Mine and stuff. It'd still be very yeah, low because there isn't a lot of that's, that's top callers. I think the deck needs to replenish yeah. board really fast. Yeah, it's, it means more searching and getting your pieces Put it and in things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> pulling for Kia with the order, you're gonna have a blast. Exactly, exactly. Right, get the ride line. <laughs> yeah, you get the Zoga ride line. Insane. <laughs> exactly. Draw all your cards, revive everything, big face, persona yeah. ride, do it all over again. <laughs> yeah, that's some, put that would be so funny. <laughs> yeah, like revive the revive um revive person ride, use Shadow Claw, go get it back to oh my wow, God. crazy. <laughs> That'd be so cracked. That sounds so fun actually. That sounds so fun. Uh, you've been we around stage ex- too much, but I approve of this. <laughs> I like, we need I like extreme this. stand down. We need extreme stand down. You know, that would I'm actually gonna be fun. Be, I'm gonna be in my sage era. We need extreme stand down. That would be pretty fun. Mixing nations would actually be pretty sick because the card pool would actually be really interesting to mess around with, like Bruce's yeah, soul charging really, stuff. Or I mean, the cool. thing is, like, it's not like premium where you can have something like really fucking busted or like yeah, loops breaks. and shit. It would just be like really just something fun. It'd be fun ride decks. The ride decks would be probably the funnest yeah. part. I mean, probably everyone playing Zaga right now, to be fair, but like... Yeah, yeah probably. The draw two is just too good. Oh, actually, Office is actually pretty good. Office by nine. Yeah, yeah, you get to get out a token. Yeah. Um, you get to you a lot to of be, You get to token. Like, there's a lot of... Well, wow, good ride lines, actually. Dude, that oh my god, Sorka with sure. World Token in it? Oh. Ooh, that's... <laughs> Dude, that that'd be actually sick. Funny. Or you can put like the um you can put the tokens into other decks. Oh yeah. Have like that early rush. Yeah. It would be so fun. <laughs> I've never thought about that. That actually sounds like a really fun idea. I'll have to put that the, in the back of my that, head somewhere. That sounds so fun. Where's Sage? Yeah. Where's Sage when you need him? For once we're talking about extreme fight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming out and the the little t- t- little podcast talk at the end. It was actually really <laughs> podcast nice. Podcast talk. Yeah, podcast Orange- with Gurgi. <laughs> yeah, Orange gets destroyed, then discuss with our opponents about our stand down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did get destroyed today. But hey, I um, I maybe maybe it's a good thing. I haven't gotten like ripped to shreds in, in a hot minute. <laughs> I think I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going, I've been going three one four zero oh, for for quite a while, both both in BSF and. And, and locals and stuff like that. I probably deserve a, a nice solid 3 0 to the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really cool. And then just like talking about Bangalore, it's really cool. Me too, me too. I, I, I like having conversations like this. It's relaxing. Yeah. It's also good sometimes to just talk about Vanguard. Yeah, to just take a step back and look at how Vanguard is. Yeah. I'm excited. Are you, are you going to enter the era? I am going to enter Biro, yeah. I am going to enter um, Premium mostly is my goal. I am going to enter it because yep, Gurgate. it. And then I am not going to enter Stand Down. For, oh, yeah, yeah, you said you, you don't want to enter. For mental reasons, yeah. It's like I'm deleting a. Uh, we, got a <laughs> we got a bot or something. I see. Yeah, I'm trying to. I forgot. I always forget how to delete stuff. Not yet, though. I mean, standard is just like so. I mean, it's just so mentally draining. 
standard? Yeah, it is. It is. It's sad because it's like it requires so much effort to know all your matchups, and then also yeah. like you can I just mean, get. Our yeah, team. the thing is like it gets me in my head so much. <laughs> it, me too. It's like so. I'm so. It's like a like, mental thing. I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, also like it's another thing, but like I really don't like stand up for one thing, and it's like when I have to do. When I have to do like um, you know Twitter tournament reports or some shit, and I'm like, uh, I lost there because I got sad. I lost there because I got. Sad. I think, do you know how sour that sounds? Oh, like I sound yeah. like a sour bitch when being when being like that. I'm like, I lost it because I sad. Lost it because of OT. Lost it because we checked to create yep. at the right moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. I. Uh, yeah. I definitely. I definitely know that pain. It's very. Yeah. It's like the. It's like the worst thing about it because um. When I went to Chicago, like we got our like quote unquote top, we we got DQ at a top, but we were going like mm-hmm. literally we, we we lost one game and that was the first game we all got OT. So we were yeah. pretty much we we went on defeated after that, right? So we were pretty excited and you know we did really well. And then me and Yellow took we went to overdress in Georgia and we just got OT out of our minds. Like every single yeah, round, yeah, one, one yeah. person got OT. So I got OT. I got through a video double OT, like two different rounds and like we were just Ooh, like, yeah. what did we do to deserve this? Like we just went from going to the top eights to just getting completely demolished in, in georgia that's like what happened you know and yeah. then and then it feels like it's your fault like oh maybe i did something or maybe yeah, i didn't yeah, think that, through but exactly that, like yeah. some, some situations like well what could i have done you know <laughs> yeah i mean and i guess in my like what could i have done did i do something wrong uh, is it something wrong with like decks yeah. i built badly should exactly. i change decks or something like that it gets like so toxic it's insane yep. I mean, the only thing I'm glad about it is that it got me like one of my first so- my first solo top. So I'm like, I'm not doing that, you know. True, true. M- me too. Actually. I got my <laughs> I got but my yeah. top during the objectively best era of standard, which was set one. Oh wow, that's right. I forgot about that. Not not, yeah, not against I you, but I, it's been it's been a second. I forgot. Yeah, it's been a second. I mean, it's been like it's been a year. Oh my god, it's been a year. <laughs> That's so crazy to think about. Yeah. Well, all right, Gurgi, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna go again yeah, a little bit. I'll let you stream. Homies. Yeah. Oh no, it's okay. It's I, honestly um not. I usually don't like to talk about my viewership or anything like that, but people have been chilling and listening to us this whole time. Yeah, we're, we're just we're just chilling. It's a chilling yeah. like. I haven't had a chance to talk night. to you in a while either. You've been busy with school and everything. I mean, I'm, I'm not busy anymore because I'm, I'm done with school. I'm, oh, yeah. I wasn't done with school. Now I get to bother you more. <laughs> yeah, you got to bother me more. Unless, until I get to work now. Yeah, hey, it's exciting. You get to build out all your yeah. stuff. Yeah, the boy got to get that coin to finally get Gurgit SP playset after Let's two go. years. I almost thought about buying Gurgit, uh, Gurgit SPs. Like, I, I think I told you this. I was looking at the SPs like a month back. Yeah, yeah, you did. You I did thought about it. Because yeah. I, I have the deck and I gave it, like, you know, my friend took it, went undefeated with it, all this stuff. And I'm like, man, do I want to do I want to SP out this deck? Do I want to do it? And I was like, nah. I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, there's not much SP, honestly, man. Yeah, what, yeah. What's they're SP just pricey, does? man. Yeah, they're just pricey. There's the, oh, yeah, actually, there's um, possible SP, which is pricey, but like, it's understandably pricey you know it's not unfair i don't know um, i'm is, not gonna lie bermuda yeah. sps that isn't swimsuit ones are actually really cheap like sedna the green yeah, researcher yeah. she's like three dollars <laughs> but you know it's you know it's possible you know yeah possible is just like i think it's just gold gold i feel like gold is always been yeah. pricey gold like, is gold is yeah. always been pricey in the, i mean when i back in g when i started the game i was just some little uh, middle schooler that that had a belly and allowance, and I was like, okay, I've got to buy this space out of Google that is 40 bucks. Oh, no. And then I got, a, I got about all of this that is 110 bucks, and then I got to eat, survive, <laughs> pay for tournaments, <laughs> exist as um, a human, hang out with friends. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. How am I gonna do that? I did the same thing when I first got into V. Um, I saw Ezel and I instantly bought it, and I dropped two hundred because the PGs, the PGs and Ezel alone were like a hundred something dollars. Oh, and I'm yeah. like, ah, why is this all so the expensive? The PGs. They Remember are... when the PGs were twenty five dollars? Oh my god! I mean, gosh. I didn't. See that. I mean, I bought them on just on spot because I started the thing with V, and I was like, yep, yeah, actually. I mean, now it's been repeated three times, so it's yeah, fine. thank I have god. All- and it's yeah, still four dollars. <laughs> yeah, it's still four dollars. It's I mean, ridiculous. I have, yeah, I have all three of the, uh, yeah. the edition. Actually, I have the EB10, and then I have the SS1, and then I have the yep. other ones. Yep. 
That's still expensive. It's crazy to me. Yeah, it's still like, it's crazy. Oh. Man, that and Bermuda Triangle were like literally the most expensive PGs. Because that was the reason, so like yeah. a lot of people thought of I played Bermuda from the start. And I actually didn't because it was so expensive back then. It was like yeah. $25 for PGs. And at the time, I didn't even know Bermuda existed, so I bought Golds instead. And and I'm still yeah. happy about it. I love Golds. Golds is one of the few, yeah. it was the first deck that I, um, I went undefeated with locally. Like locally, I was my first. And by the way, I was new at the game, and I went like straight up defeated with Ezel, and I'm like, yeah, I can vibe with this. Yeah, I can find. <laughs> this with was this. like back then, you know, it's like 2018, 20. No, it was 20. Yeah, it was 2018. It was like. Yeah, yeah. It was I like see. October or something when I took it. One yeah, time. back to like where well, yeah, Raven and Platina era. Yeah, yeah, it was like it was like literally I think when like Ezel dropped and like all that stuff was coming. Yeah, out. it was really so, fun. So it was, it was a pretty long time ago. The goals yeah, have yeah, changed yeah, so much really. since was, then. Yeah, goals changed so much. Yeah, we went for we and the uh, Ezo era, and then a Graven came out, and then it last a growing was the only spot for a year, and then we got Gurgit, which was like revolutionized the the thing, yep. and first of all, and then we had Spectral that came out, which was also really good. Yep. Yeah, Fury's the only thing that kind of uh, went under. Super under because yeah, Fury was just too which... behind. Actually, I yeah. love that card so much. I'm trying so I hard. Like that this, I keep trying like... to make it busted. And I just, I just can't break it, man. Is it possible? I mean, that can. Yeah, I mean, you can quote unquote break it, but it still won't be like, yeah. you know. Yeah, you of need course. To, it's you need like to hit insane. triggers in that deck. Yeah, of course. You need to hit fronts. You need, you, if you hit fronts, you'll win the game. But if you check nothing, yeah. you just gotta lose. You just flop like yeah, this, like thing. a little fish. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I really love Ogreven. It's like one of the. It was the first deck that was really like where I really found the essence of gold, which is like lots of gold. You do lots of things in in the in the turn, and, and just those things. Yep. Crazy and just just fast. Like it was. I mean, when it came back, it came up just after the um. What's the name? Um, the Tachi deck, which it was. Oh, uh, um, I always but, forget the name. What's his face? Uh, Anger Blader. Anger Blader, there we go. And it was the only deck that could go as fast, if not faster than Anger Blader. Oh, yeah, yeah. That deck was. I'm surprised that, that deck was, deck was insane. You attack so much. Yeah. And then, but basically, the only the reason why it was so good is because, like, on turn three, you could kill them because what you would do is just, like, let them go second. Guard the early, let them deal with five damage. They only have four cards left in them, and then just kill. Yep, yep, because you're, you're attacking like five times, six times, I mean, and, yeah, then you, you... and then you look at top six and you know, call out a whole Yeah, that's board. the thing. And even with her possible, it was still really fast. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it only started to struggle emo, like when the uh, G era started in V. Oh. Like when Susano and all came out, it, it only really started to fumble there. Hmm. I wonder what's like, a, like keeping it back now. I really don't know. I think it's just the power. I think I think having thirty yeah, crits and heal guardians have just kind of the power is mostly just like consistency too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Hmm. It has its own like for a little uh like little ride line and everything like you know to like it has, yeah, it, it has yeah, its I, little support and stuff and it had a whole set like to, dedicated to yeah, cards to it. And for some reason, it just can't. I'll keep never up. I'll never forget Bushard for like nothing. Tron the Grade One the Triple Rare. Oh yeah. Because. In the anime, at first, it was like, draw one, call one from an, and it was so busted. And then I changed it. Was it was so good. And then, it, and then it changed it to like, call the top card of the deck, which is less good, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's still okay. You still played it because what? Because because it's so good. No, it's 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 it pressure. It's, it's Interesting. Good. I actually never never played it. I never I never I got the skill and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean you could switch between mentions. You could play either that or you also play the great the the other great one that says, uh, on boost give AK to the boosted units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. So you made it boost the Vanguard. The Vanguard was twenty, and then everything goes to slow and do your thing. Yep. 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 Exactly. I like the restander, like the stage. one that you just uh, that you had in your Duke deck. Like, I like running stuff like that too. Actually, not the restander. Oh, yeah. Um, it's the other one. I can't remember what the card. I think it's the card you're talking about, actually. Just the power gain card. Yeah, the power gain card. Yeah, it yeah. is this one. Yeah. I should have. I should have won somewhere. Um. I mean, I have, is this in this? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, this is, is this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. The yep. Gurgit Sun. Yup, yup. It does look like Gurgit Sun, though. <laughs> yeah. And then Tron is right there. 
Yep, Tron. This is yes, the one I think yeah. I think Vanguard Insider runs this card. Because I remember we were talking about this card for a while. Yeah. I think my issue with it is the Counterblast, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, it's the... No, it's on play CB1 plus 5k, yeah. Yeah, that, I think I remember Which that was my issue. actually quite okay. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. It's, but CB yeah, I mean, for other stuff You don't use that boring. much CB in the deck anyway, so like... True. I just not, like going holistic. I mean, yeah. With first of all, you didn't you use like two CB per turn, of course, but not that you only have one. It's like so now you don't have to worry use about that much CB. Yeah, that's fair. Also, you have lots of CC in the deck because you true. play because you of course play four years of this for the drain. Yeah, that that combination is still like just so freaking ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> I mean the the, the soul. I remember everyone at the start when first release being like, "Oh wow, twelve to source carry." I mean, when I was just like using the soul for several more the drain, everything else just yeah. cost. Like, cause you have the soul, you can just do whatever you want. Like, and like, even yeah. even with even not non fury decks have no soul problems just because of aggravate. Yeah, Aglovale. just because of aggravate. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, aggravate, aggravate just revolutionized the the clan. Cause and even aggravate revolutionized. Cause like you know you just put everything on your field to soul. Yeah, you have a like that go back to him, and then you just attack with ag with aggravate with a blank field, and then yep, just yep. use kill. That's also cool that you can like negate your opponent. You can just call nothing and have like the blade. Yeah, you can clear. just call nothing. Yeah. Or how or call like two, like have one of them be aggro veil, and then you, you put everything to soul and it's like, oh, my board's empty. Yeah, still. like yeah. I mean against Vanquish I thought really useful because like, oh you wanna buy something right front row? What front row? Find nothing. Yeah, I'll, buy I only get nothing. this one fine from my hand. <laughs> yeah, I mean just also like <laughs> against Ang, I guess, you can just make them commit. Yes, that is true. Or just yeah. like Empty your field until there's only one place left on the field. Yep. I mean, bounce back my Sagramore. Sh sure yeah, thing, sure. go for it. <laughs> Let me use it again. <laughs> I would love that. Yep, exactly. That's always why I try to like try to make sure I yeah. don't get in those situations. That's just why I run mm -hmm. the Highwinder build because then I can I can at least yeah. search out my cards and get to. Bounce back my possible. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my God, no! I would never touch that thing in my life. I'd be like, you can have that on the board. It can just stay there. <laughs> Oh, but it's so fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. the tea is so good. <laughs> I've been vibing with tea. I've been really tired today, so I like my uh, oh, double doubles up so on the tired. tea for me. He gave me two bags. Yeah. <laughs> I've been so tired since BSF London. Yeah. I slept 12 hours last night, and this night it was 10 hours. I never sleep that much. You went to bed pretty late yesterday, because we were talking for a while, and then you passed out yeah, like 1, 2 o'clock. I mean, mm. You think I passed out at that time? No, probably not. You, you probably went to bed like <laughs> 2 hours later. Exactly. Hey, Ricky, I'm gonna chill in bed for a while, and I was like, this man's going to bed at 4 in the morning. <laughs> exactly, that's the, that's the real stuff. It's okay, you're, you're young, you can get away with that. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, during BSF London, I did go to bed at like midnight and woke up at 4 to catch my flight. Jesus Christ, that's that's pain. That's pain. That was, oh, I was barely alive on the flight. I'm sure, I would have I probably mean, slept through the yeah. flight. These two others were, were coming with coffee and I was like, give me. <laughs> give me all the, all the caffeine. <laughs> give me the caffeine. I mean, when the store less fast, just to give like, because they give like free snacks or something. Mm. And then I just, uh, I was asleep at that time. Like I did a mini, uh, a little um, nap, mm -hmm. and then it, and then I just woke up and found found it in front of me. It was so was so cute. <laughs> Good feelings. I was like, oh, well, I passed out. Well, all right, I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, yeah, it's like so late for you. I did you know it? No, it's one foot seven. It's fine. Like I'm getting a, a song. Thank you, Fuzzy. Anyway, I didn't, I didn't hear the last bit you said. It, the music was coming. It's one forty-seven. It's not that late, it's mine. I mean, it's 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 uh, smile. It's kind of late. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, I'm gonna Are go not... play some spooky games, probably. Yeah, go go play some spooky games. I'm not addicted to Faz. I have an addiction. It's really bad. <laughs> yeah, I'll go to. Uh, I'll All go. right. Sleep well, Gertie. Thank you. Coming out. See ya. Bye. All right, Gergi has left us. Thank you, thank you so much, Fuzzy. 
for the follow. Uh, thank you. Uh, not for the follow, for the sub. My bad, my bad. Thank you. It is a happy Wednesday. Thank you for the follow earlier from Ace the Flame. One, two, three. Thank you so much for the follow. So I was a little delayed on it. I didn't want to interrupt Gurgit. Thank you, Majesty Lord Aishi, also for the follow. I think I already told you thank you, but thank you again. Um, <laughs> let me go back to the full screen and get the light out of my face. Oh. Uh, all right, let me turn back on my other camera. 